This is Will Sloan, and today I'll be telling you about how I made my catapult. My design was a rope torsion catapult. The way a rope torsion catapult works is that you wind rope around the throwing arm, which then provides enough tension to move the throwing arm fast enough to throw a bean bag. This is the original frame built for the project. As you may notice, the triangular pieces of plywood are pointed one certain direction. When we first started the project, we thought it would be better to point them the other direction. This, however, did not enable us to turn the small pieces of wood necessary to raise the tension on the ropes. So we had to take out all ten screws on each side and screw them back in the other way. As you can see here, we have the unwound rope. Now, we did have to get specific instructions on how to wind the rope through the piece of wood. See, the throwing arm has a hole right through the middle, and each of the wooden pieces on each end has a little hole to put the rope through to finalize it on either end. So it took a couple tries, and we had to cut the rope, but eventually we got it to work. Then we started to wind the sides up. After we got the sides nice and tight, we took bolts on either side and put them in to stop the arms from moving, as you can see in this picture. Also, we screwed in the top of the catapult. Now, you can't see it in this picture, but at the top of the platform that the beanbag sits on, there's actually a small piece of wood up there to stop the beanbag from sliding off upward when the arm is accelerating towards the stop bar. For one final touch, we ended up putting a block of wood in front of the stop bar so that the catapult arm would stop closer to the 45 degrees we were shooting for. And that's it. That is how we built our catapult. We being me and my dad, because if my dad hadn't have helped me, I probably would have lost an eye or a limb or something like that. So, that is it. The end.